Hi Scorpio, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be your next 48 hours, okay? Um, I'm going to clarify some things here. Um, and then I'm also going to be using the tarot to clarify your messages. Just know that you're a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. If you're new here, welcome. And if you are turning back to my channel, I do welcome you back. Um, just go ahead and show the read some love for me simply by thumbsing up the videos. Um, let me know if you you know you liked what you read, all right? When you thumbs up the videos, YouTube will see that you like it and they'll push the videos out into a wider audience. The channel will grow, the video will also grow. So go ahead and show you read some love, all right? Now, we're going to get into a quick pray because prayer is a must. Pull your next 48 hours through. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along, my day, ask that you bless my servant, ask that you bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, my darling, so this is definitely a general reading, not a personal one. It may or may not resonate with you. Please take what does and leave the rest. The roles could be reversed, all right? Um, it could pick up your person's energy, past, present, or future person. Even for the cross watchers who are watching, the same thing applies to you guys, all right? Also, my darlings, um, if you do need to have a personal reading, you can always connect with me simply by using the information that you will find in the description part of this video. Everything is down below, all right? Making sure that you're using all those links. Go ahead and follow your girl on TikTok. Your girl is on TikTok, Okay. Go follow me on TikTok, The Secret Tarot. I think I have the link in the description as well. And go over to the Instagram and follow me there. I want to start doing some free personal readings over there on TikTok and also on Instagram. So go ahead and follow um, your girl over there, all right? All right, so let's see what's coming through the energy for your next 48 hours. What's the message? What's the message for Scorpio? At this time, angels, what's the message for Scorpio at this time? What's the message for Scorpio at this time? What's the message for Scorpio at this time? Scorpio. All right, so we're getting love here. That's what seems to be coming through. And then we have the high priestess of the air. And then we have a success. Wow. We also have denial, conclusions, and obedience. My goodness. You seem to have a lot going on, my darlings. Let me have two more cards, please. Next 48. Two more cards, please, for the next 48. All right, Scorpio. All right, so you definitely have a situation where lo your love life is coming through immediately, okay? Now, because we have the eye priestess of the herd here, what I'm getting is that there's a decision that is needed here, okay? Um, it's really trying to come through. It's like, it's, it's like, it's, it's crying out, make a decision, make a decision, make a decision. This is what I'm seeing for some of you, all right? Um, you're thinking, you're thinking, you're thinking over time because you know that this is, this decision is really needed sooner or later as far as your love connection is concerned. Now, I'm also just not getting your love life that is coming through with the next 48. What is also coming through with your next 48 is your success, your money, your financial security, your balance in your life, balancing what is needed in your life at this present moment. But someone is in denial here, okay? There's there's someone in your energy. This could be you. This could be what is connected to you. But this is what's coming in. Denial, all right? Um, 
someone is not seeing the situation for what the situation is. Someone is comfortable with the, the way things are. This is not the way it is set out to be. Because there is conclusions that is coming through. Something is has to start from chapter one. Something needs to start over in order to, for you to end the cycle, right? So conclusions are within reach here, right? Uh, but what I'm also seeing here for some of you, and this is for some of you, not all, okay? Just remember that the roles could be reversed. I could be saying he or she or you or him, all right? Just take how it suits you. But someone is needed to be obedient. Someone is disobedient. Someone is needed to be um, obedient here because we have a situation here where someone may be not seeing the situation as clearly as you are. And I do feel like this person who's maybe wearing a, a cover-up or something, this person is still trying to fight. This person seems to be fighting even with their eyes all covered up. It's like they having either trust issues or whatever, but it's causing a problem. The problem that it's really causing is this feeling of the invisible, okay? Um, it's a feeling to see things how clearly and to really move forward because this is only a generating a feeling of setback. There's a setback here, okay? Now this setback is having me feel like one is either having a hard time finding the magic within themselves, right? In order to move forward with happiness. I feel like someone is just sitting there just watching. They're just sitting there watching and wasting time. Just wasting away time, precious time here. But angels are saying that you're also connected to a, a, a situationship, right? And that's what I like to call them. A situationship that is involved in loyalty. This love here that is coming through. Someone is wondering where is the loyalty here. So you're either feeling like something might have happened here, but the next forty-eight is telling me that you're trying to question yourself about this loyalty here. Your intuition is telling you something is kind either off, or something is feeling rather unbalanced here. The next. 48 is going to bring clarity, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and clarify these cards up, right? Hold on, y'all. Let me get something to drink. Oh, that was good. All right, let's clarify these cards up, okay? All right, Angel, let's clarify these cards, please. Let's clarify these messages. Let's clarify these messages for Scorpio. Next 48 hours. Next 48, please. Next 48. Next 48, please. Next 48. Next 48. All right, so... In the back of the deck, we have the King of Wands in the reverse. All right, so this person is rather bossy, okay? And this is a very bossy energy here that's coming to. It's, this person is even a very aggressive, very aggressive energy. Um, and they like to trouble. They like trouble, right? Um, they're not really motivating others here is what I'm hearing. And I do feel like because this is, is in the reverse, I do feel like this person is not really clear. They're not clear at their purpose, all right? Um, what we have here, and, and, and that doesn't surprise me because we did have the obedience here. Someone is choosing not to be very obedient. That's, they feel comfortable that way. All right, so now this Ten of Pentacles, um, in the reverse. Hmm. There's something that was very unexpected that kind of changed here. Something changed overnight. Something very unexpected, okay? Um, it could be, it could have been, um, a family situation here this is what i see coming in um for some of you guys you've kind of been going through it but this is what's coming in for some of you next 48 something with family family changes here someone is about to establish a situation here um even wanting to fix some things because it may have been felt felt very unbalanced someone may have just decided to put an end to something here that was very unexpected all right i just maybe felt that that was the way to go that was what was needed to do um and for this five of swords really feel have me feel like 
there was also a lot of conflicts here. All right. Um, because someone is choosing to fight because they're choosing not to be obedient. All right. Um, and this is what the energy is really pulling in. Obedience. This person likes to argue a lot. All right. Fighting uh, without um, grudges. It's like to fight. There's a sense of betrayal and, and, and misleading energy and hurt. Feeling like they want to be victorious. Wants to be the lime of the party. Or the light of the damn party. Who knows, okay? Um, and they seems to not to want to accept defeat, right? Um, this is the energy that they, they, they bring towards you. And it really takes its toll here because man, the, your magician card did show up in the reverse right here. Right? Um, a lot of manipulation, mind games and manipulation energy. Um, uh, this person is maybe even lacking of resources. Maybe this is you that is coming through as lacking of resources. Uh, but you've definitely felt like, you know, you've dealt with a lot of trickery. People that is very tricky around you. But for some of you still be in denial, putting up with a lot of things from a lot of folks here. I feel like someone is either trying to be free to take themselves out of a situation here because you know your potential. Your potential is one that doesn't serve these people. All right? Because these, per these whatever is connected to you is, is using their power against you. Trying to have you, your life in the reverse. Okay? But I feel like you're about to take back your power. You want to take back your power. You're trying to set yourself free from this. Um, because there's too much going on here. The seven of pentacles in the reverse. Too much time on the, their hands and putting the, uh, a lot of effort into different things that doesn't serve them or serve you. Right? I do feel like someone is invest, investing or investing into anxiety here. <laughs> this could be them. If this is called poor planning. Somebody's not putting a plan in place here. And it's having your movement slow because you're connected to them. Next 48, please. What is the next 48? Let's clarify these. All right, so now we have the Nine of Pentacles again. Then we have the Lovers here. And the Six of Pentacles. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So you're healing from a lot of things here. All right, you're about to just let go of this Lovers card, which is not feeling very well. It's not sitting well. All right, that is something that is attached to toxicity. All right, and really messing up the manifestation process. It's Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Money is not going accordingly. It's going rather slow here, but you're healing from whatever the pain that might have been caused here. Um, from whatever it is that wasn't didn't serve you. There's a lot of fights and, and, and disloyalty. You're healing from this. Um, you've been definitely given a lot here. Trying to find balance and stability um, in the lover's card. But you're getting toxicity back in return and having your... Your, your everything, your balance and your stability in the reverse. There's something not going right here. You're not achieving anything, but yet you're still trying to find a way to heal and to get your life in order. This is what I see coming in towards you, Scorpio, within the next 48 hours. I'm hearing decisions. I'm hearing movements. I'm hearing um, choices. I'm hearing success. I'm hearing uh, deny, the denial and everything else that comes with that. Okay. I'm hearing, um, somebody's been defeated, but arising from it. I'm hearing people is walking away from toxicity. As far as relationships are concerned, I'm hearing people are tired of giving to people who is ain't giving back. Um, it's either or. Okay. So this is where I see your energy flowing. All right. So this is going to be your next 48. I hope it did resonate with you. If you do need to have a prayer request, you could always feel free. Um, to ask me for one uh, down in the comment section. Just put your initials there. Also, um, thumbs up the videos for me on your way out. Pray for me, my darlings, as I will be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.